Welcome back, everybody. Here at Gamers Cup of Tea. Last time we did leave off uh, after talking to Freya and now returning with Sindri to uh, yeah home where so <laughs> Katas is still nickname? kind of sleeping. That Loke. Loke, no. Nope. Ah. <laughs> well, and I heard it when I said it. Yes. It just didn't sound right. Trey is Trey is better. Shall we? Yeah, we shall. It's gonna be very uh, really interesting uh, what Frey is gonna do with the information that Trius uh, Trius uh, did give her. Whether this is gonna affect Katus negatively or not. I hate coming home um, empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure. You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. to the house or can we kind of sneak no we can't no we can't oh funny thing flying around there okay let's go Trey that is not the risk that concerns me do we trust the path they would put us on I trust their wisdom and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them you are certain the giants would not counsel war I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Peeing. Quite a long uh, peeing process. As I am? Be right down. Yeah, be right down. Take a sleep before that, or a nap at least. Oh yeah, how does Mimir eat? Does he? Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. <laughs> I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? <laughs> where are we planning our next move? Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. Home with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? I wasn't sure you, um. Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey, don't go forgetting this, what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. Nice. More for me. <laughs> Very uh, interesting meal time here. Travel to Alfheim. Here. You're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Mm. Oh. That elf light is some good shit. Brock was saying with his quarter, uh, three quarter soul. Uh, let's see what it's gonna happen. I can't. Oh, oh, oh. So, where did this plan come from? Oh, 
from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alphite, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of her talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. Such a cool uh, situation here. But yeah, we have to proceed most likely. To you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight. And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Indrasil seat for. The landlord? He's not the landlord. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, let's... Ch no, 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 I want to talk to Sindri, probably. A companion accessories. Accessories, lot is empty. Select your companion in the armor menu to equip accessories. Uh, 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 uh. Sonic Aftershock, okay. Thank you. He really did it. Tear really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Probably only from the later ones. Any other talk? Ah, oh, this myth. Like, uh, everything looks so cool. At your service. Sorry for brabbling around uh, always about how it cool it looks but I just like the game I really enjoy it and uh, yeah that's just so much work I mean if I just imagine the amount of hours uh, flowing into being invested into this looking as good as it is uh, as detailed as it is like on all the behalfs uh, from kind of art direction up to uh, really modeling it uh, all the coding behind it for the engine and stuff like that. Oof, uh, crazy people over there at Santa Monica in the very best sense. Uh, so extra, extraordinary people with uh, extraordinary skills. Yeah, Blades of Chaos. Chaos Flame, Stonewood. Oh no, I think we upgraded almost everything. Or was there something with the armor that we could do? No, we could not. No. No. Okay. It's a good looking armor, but um I like the I like the hand uh, thingies and I like the kind of the belt. Uh that's called like, like the wrist and but I don't like the chest piece as much. I like when one shoulder of Kantos is kind of free. Uh so uh, but yeah, still a good looking armor, but just not my favorite one as of now. Yeah, they're still eating. Okay. Seems like I can't check anything else. So let's get to the door. And right proceed. Behind. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Yeah, not forget me here. That's that's true. Nothing here to do. Let's go. Excuse me, sir. Squirrel. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. What the heck? My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety. <laughs> what the heck is happening here? A squirrel? <laughs> this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. What the heck? Like, <laughs> looks like a pirate. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story, 
But you are correct. I am indeed Ratatosker. The one you know as Ratatosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Just a second, guys. I have to stop here because I just wanted to say that. Goddamn, the animations in game are and at a level we kind of, I don't know, five to ten years ago, uh, animated movies like from Disney or something that look that way. Um, I think we are even above that. So there is really like, we are closing in and the gap is becoming smaller and smaller between kind of off rendered things, uh, yeah, like kind of movies and, and this, uh, he looks like this Red Tusker squirrel thing looks just amazing. <laughs> so funny animated, whoever animated this, kudos. Thank you very much. Speaking of, Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, mm. now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? Oh, we like the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Mm. Since what can we do with that? Since my tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. Ooh, almost 2,000 exp... Ah, uh. so that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Oh, okay. So he did give it to Brock, right? Okay. Alpama waits with a long and difficult journey. The training grounds of Nilfheim hold secrets, secret rewards. Svartalfheim may hold unfinished business. Choose carefully. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, but then probably checking out Nilfheim first. Realm available to travel, okay. That seed you found the unlocks Niflheim of all places. A realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. New Yggdrasil seed, no one choose a realm to travel. Let's go this route first, right? Because, like, we, we don't know. Um, for practice and improve. Yep. I'm sorry, guys, we have definitely to check this out. Um, um, then go to the map, the Raven Tree. How can I travel here? A few legend favors, Mr. Gators. Okay, but how can I to open the map? Go to map, navigate. Okay, but then here, I want to go here. Confirm. Oh, yeah, okay. Like that. Sorry. Was a little bit confused there. It's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? I thought Enriar. We're just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. So let's take a look at Nilfheim. Whatever this is gonna be. The map. Let's check the map. Go to journal. Yes, I need the journal. Completed favors, the nine realms, the crucible. Find the second Muspelheim seat. Born from fire, close the Draugr halls. Okay. Well, this is, I think, like the, the hateful, right? The eyes of Odin, travel to Nilfheim. Kill Odin's ravens. <laughs> Odin's ravens. 
Okay, 10,000. Oh, god damn. Okay. Well, let's see what Snowfam is gonna be. The Raven Tree. What is out there? What is here? What is happening? Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Hmm. Brock, what do you think about fate? I don't. Either your life's all written down somewhere or it ain't. It still feels like you're making choices either way. The shit smells the same regardless of how it got shat. Remind me to write that down. Yeah, very philosophical. Okay, let's see whether we can do something. But I don't think so, so that, that shouldn't change, okay? So we can go left or we can go up. Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Free are we, free of the Father. Our half-lives now belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. Yeah, and there is like this uh, a lot of shiny chests. Wait, oh, this requires Raven required eight of eighteen, eight of twelve. I can open this chest. This is uh, interesting. 8 of 48 28 okay this is but this is interesting this is really interesting so it, it does require 12 and we have only 8 we can open 1 and this is really motivating to really get the ravens girdle of raven tears One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Yes, when or if. This is kind of a quite difficult uh, question, but let's just see it. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, god damn. The defense is going up quite a bit. Ah, okay, the, 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 the vitality goes down. Okay, at l I mean. Ancient gear, heavily fortified armor that is said to be stronger than the heart and the eyes of Nofheim. I will just like leave it as of now. But it's looking very cool. I want to have it as soon as we kind of probably destroy some more ravens and can kind of get more armor from that. And this is uh, would be really cool. So let's see what's here on the right side. Um, Fancy seeing you loiter sacks again. Loiter hey, sacks. Um, if it's way too difficult and it's really kind of challenging as heck, uh, I will most likely do it off screen, guys. Because I don't think you want to see me struggle and fail again and again and try out a lot of different kind of approaches. Uh, could be funny, but I don't think so. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Okay, what is this? Okay, but he's doing the kind of the Draugr training. The sparing arena allows you to test and hone your skills in combat. In the arena you have infinite health and accelerated cooldowns. There is no XPR hex of a gain in the arena. Oh. The sparing arena allows you to test and hone your skills in combat. In the arena you have infinite health. But do you get some... Kind of. It nothing. Do you get something from that or not? This is gonna be the question. Okay. But here, this is really nice. Um, I liked it already kind of in Sekiro. So let's try to block. Okay. Of course the arena is quite big, which gives you a 
somewhat uh, a, a chance to get. Okay. Kind of gives you a chance to get um, a little bit more space between the enemies and you, which is always kind of. Always kind of a, a positive thing. Oh, yeah, good dodging here, my man. Oh, he's flying. Okay, and grab him. Okay, so kind of parrying and stunning them, this really gives you a big. Oh god damn it, like really a big plus and advantage. Oh and permafrost starts to ooh work really better. Oh, this is gonna be great. So I will have to do some really cool stuff here. Okay, permafrost already gone. Because we did get hit. Oh, Oh, okay. Let's get a parry. Come on. Okay, come on. Parry. And a throw. This is really cool. I, I ask myself whether this is gonna end at some point in time or not. Ooh, yeah, there was a shoot. Go. No. Ooh. Okay, come on. No, hit me. Okay. A lot of fun. Like Sekiro had this as well, like where you could really try out like with this undead fella. And it was really nice. Now oh, come on. Oh, this was a little bit too early. I'll throw him. Go for the wound attack. Go for the three. Oh the health burst is really awesome. These are cooldowns, so it's reduced, right? Okay. But how can you end this? Do you really have to kill all those? Or kind of? Okay. Okay. Uh, exit then. I like it a lot. Uh, and I will have to try out a lot of moves and um, kind of chain attacks together and kind of, again, because there is kind of this... Um, effect where you kind of you fight with the blades but you as well kind of then have to switch to the axe because the enemy is burning then the axe is doing more damage so this is uh this is really great um uh, yeah where where should we travel is the question now okay but we could could go to svartlheim muspelheim but you can't go there, right? Yet. Yet. Svartelheim? Is there something or not is the question. Did we miss probably something? We didn't talk to the guys here. Alright, so let's probably just check out this for a second. Um, so that we can kind the of... I know this sounds weird, but... Can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul. And every soul mm. has four parts. Four. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals. 
toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So oh. long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. Which part does missing to Brock is one of the questions, and the other is whether Fenrir is going to be brought back by um, Atreus at some point in time, at least, right? Okay, so I wanted to talk to. This is only a shop, right? Legendary chests here are still missing, right? Oh, god damn. No, this is... Okay, we can... Okay. There is one of the ravens missing. This is the same thing. But there are something... That there is something to boat here, which we didn't do, right? So let's probably go uh, over there. And let's try to check this out. We don't want to miss any content here before going to, um, uh, yeah, go to map, um, before going to, uh, Alfheim, because the menu was saying difficult journey, so we should Amir, check out the side content a little bit. soul is headed for the light of Alfheim, but that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle? A Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folkvonger. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. Like mothers? Yes. Like your mothers. Wow. Oh. He's thinking about a lot of things. What is this? Remember, we don't have the Unity Stone to let us jump off, right? Of course he remembers. Enough. I remember. He remembers. Oh, I like this. So Svartalheim, the colors are so bright and ah. vibrant Mining and blue alive. Disabled. Seems a bit fresher out here. Not seems. Yes. It is. Bye. Okay. So, just a second, because we didn't go here. Bay of Bounty. Svartalheim completion is only by like 50%. We can go here and we can go here. So let's check check this out right. because oh, you never know what we could find. Scenery, beautiful as always. So let's boat here. Amir, you said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul, but not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Lose any one of them, and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. Okay, we did we did come here at some point in time, but we couldn't do anything. Okay, this is very unfortunate. Let's go for this one, whether this is gonna be something. Probably we did check out everything, but I don't hope so, because I want to be as prepared as possible for, for Alfheim. It looks so cool. Hmm. But there would be something. Okay. Um, we could kill the raven. What is this? Is there a way to get further? Oh, the sonic arrows we did already have, right? Oh, there is another bird. Can we get this one? Probably on this island. But I'm not sure whether we are prepared. 
parent to do so. Last time we did already do the do everything we could, I think. Yeah, this is a thing that is what it is but it doesn't seem to be uh, we, we don't seem to be able to activate it okay but then it seems like undiscovered there are things that are undiscovered here yet undiscovered it seems here as well Oh, quite something undiscovered there. I'm not sure. Hmm. But I don't think we can progress as of now. Oof, okay. But then, yeah, let's get back here and still go to Alfheim. It seems for now. I don't have the other ability. And. Probably they were hinting at. Um... Oh, I gotta remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world. I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. <laughs> uh, I'm just off. Let's get back fast to Sindri. And then let's get to Alfheim. Then we can check out all the other side content. That is then hopefully opening up with some new... Um, yeah, new... Uh, most likely a new weapon? Or kind of at least some new uh, skills. So that we can activate some of the stuff that is there. Let's go. Okay. And then... Oh, why is it locked? It shouldn't be. Sh can we only travel from... from, from Surinjri's house? Onwards? Okay. It's a very small level, therefore it loads ah, quite fast. No, of course not. Okay, guys. So, sorry for all the side content. <laughs> but on the next episode, we're gonna travel to uh, Alfheim and enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Easily the most dapper. So, uh, where are you? Oh, over there. So, we're gonna speak on the next episode to the squirrel guy, <laughs> to Tyr, and then travel to Alfheim. So guys, thank you very, very much for checking out the video and I hope that uh, you did enjoy it. Besides it being all, almost all the stuff being kind of side quests, but still. And then yes, yeah, see you on the next one.